Hello there everyone, my name is Nathan Birch and today we're going to be talking a little bit more about pagination um, and also asynchronous requests in Node.js. Okay, so last week we talked about uh, pagination, okay, and the examples that we went through were generic examples that could be used with any set of JSON data. Okay, so uh, if I am requesting something from a third-party API or from a database, uh, those examples that we looked at last week will work great. Okay, so uh, the tasks that we would regularly do in class today to fetch data from an API and then paginate data with buttons to sift through the data, uh, we pretty much looked at the code, all the code that we would need for that uh, last week. So today, let's go ahead and check out the cores. So lesson nine, we have async requests, REST APIs. Um, these are absolutely crucial when developing in Node.js, okay? Uh, we want high performance APIs, no matter what project we're working on. Anytime we're developing web services for a backend, we want them to perform well. And Node.js has these amazing things. Um, well, there's there are lots of ways to do asynchronous requests uh, in multiple languages, but we're going to look at a few examples of how to do them in Node today. Okay, so uh, the reading, working with REST APIs, you'll see some good examples here. Uh, the team activity, you're just going to be working on your uh, projects. And then your prove assignment, uh, you will use this API. Okay, and notice that we have a little bit of pagination going on here uh, to be able to, to work with that. Um, and then you'll create a button which clears the list and populates it with the next paginated results. Um, okay, so that's kind of what's on the schedule for this week. Now, with that said, uh, let's go ahead Let's go ahead and look at uh, some good examples. So uh, five ways to make HTTP requests in Node.js using async await. Looking at this, this was an this was an HTTP request and it got me those, I think it was 10. Yeah, limit 10, offset zero. Uh, if we tried this again, uh, I'll say I'm gonna have the offset be 10 and this time I just want one piece of data. You can see it got me one piece of data and it was that 10th one. Uh, if I said I wanted to get the 11th one, okay, there's our next one. All right. So these are HTTP requests, and we're going to look at how to use async await um, in Node to make this really, really simple. Okay. So the HTTP standard library. Okay. If I didn't want to use anything else, I could use the HTTP standard library. Uh, we will have to do an npm install HTTPS. Okay. Uh, but then look at the syntax here. So uh, I, I don't have this async await thing like we saw right up here and like I just mentioned. Uh, but what we do have is we have this on function. Okay, this is basically allowing us uh, to have that promise. Uh, we say, okay, response.on, as soon as I get it, I'm going to um, add that data to whatever data I pr I've previously retrieved. Okay, um, and so this is one way that you can do uh, this type of a request um, with HTTP, okay? Uh, looking at our next one, uh, we have this got module, this NPM package that we can use. And all we have to do here, we do have this await keyword, uh, but we say await got, it makes this function call to whatever API we're getting, we're getting information from, okay? And then we say JSON true. And then once it comes back, um, it'll go ahead and log all of this. Okay. Now this await uh, kind of throws people off at first because of how simple it is. It's like, wait, well, where, where's my promise? Well, that is your promise. Okay. That won't, that won't return until this gets hit. Or I mean, sorry, this won't get hit until this await returns. Okay. And then this data will be populated. And if it's not, if it doesn't get populated, then we'll come down in here. Okay. All right. Axios is another promise based HTTP client that works for the browser as well as Node.js. Notice this is really, really similar to the got module that we saw a second ago. All right. But it's pretty much doing the exact same thing. Okay. Uh, next one. Here's another Axios uh, example with the Axios.all. Okay. If I wanted to get several chunks, several different chunks of data at once, I could use that and I could put as much 
information in this array as I wanted to for that information to get. And then once we got all of it, we put it all into their own variables, however we want to work with that, and then we can continue working. Okay. Uh, super agent, I've actually never used super agent, but again, uh, it looks very similar to um, the previous ones, got and Axios. Okay. Uh, we have node fetch, all right, await fetch. We have the URL to get. Response returns only once this returns with the data. Um, and then await response.json. Okay. So lots of different ways that you can do this. Now, looking at your assignment, unless your instructor says otherwise, uh, you can pretty much use any one of those. Okay. Uh, here, you just have to make an asynchronous request. And all of those examples that we just looked at fulfill that criteria. Okay. Uh, and always, as always, here's a rubric to show um, what you're actually going to be graded on. So uh, I hope that this was helpful today and I hope you guys have a great week.